Happiness in your hobby room is a clean and organized bench. Mine hasn't been that way in quite some time, so I did that today. Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC. And sorry about the shakiness, but uh, trying to hold the camera. And uh, anyway, I'm going to give you a channel update as to some projects that are going to happen here in the near future on the channel. All right, so our next major project is going to be the Clogbuster build. And Grayson and I are going to start on that uh, this week. Um, he's pretty excited about helping get to build the axles since there's two sets of axles and uh, I'll probably have him help a little bit on the shocks. Uh, gonna go get a set of shock pliers to kind of help put these things together because it's uh, shocks are a pain and uh, especially when you got weak fingers like I do because of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. But really looking forward to this one and uh, I wanted to start on it a couple weeks ago actually but Grayson cut his hand and uh, had to get stitches and couldn't get his hand dirty or even use his hand so that was uh, my excuse and so I uh, got the Hornet going and uh, had some fun with that finished up the Blackfoot whatever so uh, plans for the Clod Buster we're going to build it pretty stock at first um, basically uh, it's not gonna be a super clod buster I'm gonna paint it up and I've got uh, some Excalibur decals from NCI racing I've got the Chevy grill with the headlight buckets and parking lights and the rear tailgate uh, trim uh, use the chrome marker on these I got to do another coat or two and uh, might even have to sand on it a little bit because they're 3d printed and you can kind of see the lines but uh, anyway those are from CPE and uh, good stuff um, mounts right up to where uh, Clod Buster stuff is supposed to and then you just use either glue or double stick tape to put that on um, but we're yeah this is going to be Excalibur versus actually being a super clod buster. Um, just, you know, goes along with our 80s monster truck theme. Um, so build it stock first, and uh, then I'm going to order up a couple of Holmes uh, Retro Sport 21 turn 540s. Uh, that's what John and Jordan over there suggested to, uh, to me to put in there. So, uh, they said it'll open it up and make it a little more fun, but it won't be uh, too overpowering. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, just, you know, something to, to have fun. And uh, I know they're fun in stock form, but uh, they're a bit slow, and I do like to go a little bit fast, even though I'm a horrible driver. So <laughs> anyway, that's the Clod Buster update and what's going to go on with that. In this little box here, we've got some of the new carbon steel axles uh, to put on the Crowball 114th Truggy and on the Amaryl uh, buggy there. Um, the Arlarlo ones are different and uh, that one's okay anyway. The Both axles are okay on it. Um, but one of these is, I think this one is broken and it's still stuck in there but uh, it's broken and then these are bent and about ready to break on this one and we don't have much run time on these things at all maybe three four runs something like that um, but i'll open up the box here and i'll show you so these are the new carbon steel axles and she guaranteed that uh, these are going to be nearly impossible to break i guess we'll see it's not like we drive these things super hard um, but, uh, yeah, looking forward to putting those in there and, uh, maybe enjoying these things a little bit, because if I can't enjoy them, we don't want them, and, uh, we're going to end up selling them or giving them away, but, uh, I do really like the, 
Arlarlo, uh, Amaryl, Crowball, whatever their companies are. There's three companies all in one. I do really like their platforms. They're, it's a good setup. Um, this one could use a little more motor or a little more gearing maybe. Uh, it's a little slow. It's still fun, but it's a little slow. Um, and that one's all stock. This one is all stock. Uh, but I do have another motor to put in this. I've got a Holmes uh, uh, 21 turn, I believe, to put in that. So that should really open that one up. For the USA 1, I've got, well, let's see, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. I've got this bracket. And this is actually for a Kyosho Inferno 1 8 buggy. But with the steering that's on here, or with the bracketry that's on here, and this, I convert it. I can convert it to a servo on axle, and it takes away all of the tires being too heavy and hard to turn because of all the uh, the bell crank and all that kind of stuff that's down there. Uh, it's this thing is definitely one of the ultimate monster trucks and probably the coolest truck I've got that we've got. Uh, we got this from the RC Elf and uh, he, uh, he gifted me this and gifted Grayson the Bigfoot and uh, uh, they're just such awesome trucks. But the Kyosho does have the steering issue and uh, they're, they're just hard to steer. They're okay when you're moving, but uh, uh, if you're trying to sit sit still and steer or go slow and steer there uh, it's pretty hard and uh, the problem is is the linkages that connect to the bell crank and stuff are just really thin and they get they bend and uh, the plastic bends and whatever so this is supposed to eliminate that and uh, I've only actually ever seen one uh, video series on it and I had to watch it in captions because uh, uh, it was in uh, uh, I believe it was in Spanish. I don't remember uh, right offhand, but uh, uh, the guy was super informative through it, and uh, it was a great video. And uh, when I do this, I'll try and tag his video if I can find it. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan for uh, USA One. One that I cannot forget is the new HBX Vanguard. Uh, this Corvette body fits almost perfectly on there, and. Uh, so we finally found a home for the Corvette body, and uh, I think I'm going to hook the LED lights up to it. And uh, so it's got working headlights and tail lights. I think that'll be kind of cool. But I forgot about this one because it's sitting out here on the couch and not in the RC room. So sometime this winter, the Hornet's going to get torn down and cleaned up and uh, what I call restored, I guess. I've got a uh, faster motor for it. I'm gonna take the mechanical speed control out and uh, the old Futaba gear and put uh, modern uh, ESC in there, radio, uh, modern radio, and uh, uh, just kinda modernize it a little bit. Got a, a 12 turn motor for it. This thing should rip, um, but still be pretty, pretty decent handling. Uh, this will be our basher body here. I'm going to get another one and a reproduction set of the original Hornet decals with all the sponsors and stuff, and I'll do that up. Don't know if I'm going to do box art being, uh, you know, all black. I might do something different, uh, maybe a tribute to uh, RC collector that passed away recently that I just heard about from Ampro Engineering. Uh, they called him Show Dog. He uh, had a heck of a collection. Ampro just did a couple videos on it. You might want to check those out. But uh, uh, he had a Hornet on there that I really liked. And uh, so I may do something like that. I'm not real sure. Uh, also, at some point this upcoming winter, Pinky here. Pinky Tuscadero, the uh, the Falcon, is going to get uh, torn down, and uh, we're going to use this chassis or this chassis, uh, or at least parts from this chassis, and then parts from the lot that I got this chassis from to uh, restore this one. And I think we might have enough parts 
except for shocks to build a second one. Uh, that being said, I don't know if we will or not. Uh, if we do, I'll have to get a Team Blue Group body and one of them will be a runner, one of them will be a shelf queen. Uh, I'm not sure which will be which, but uh, uh, yeah, I got the, the body and then a whole box of Falcon parts I got from Keith over at RC Icons. Can't thank Keith enough, that is uh, just awesome. He did the uh, Triple Falcon giveaway and uh, restored uh, three of them meticulously. This one's actually got some cool parts on it, and uh, like I really like these tires. Uh, but as you can see, like the uh, shock tower's broken on this one, which is a common spot. The uh, spindle's broken. It's just you know common things that break on the Falcon, and. Uh, so anyway, that's gonna come soon for restoration. Uh, this one here will actually probably be the next pro big project after the, uh, the clod buster. And uh, I'm going to tear this thing down and uh, modernize it. Put uh, modern ESC in there and uh, control and everything. Uh, there's the Radio Shack stuff there. I could actually probably still make it work if I wanted to, but uh, uh, I've got some parts for this. Uh, I'm looking for a bumper, but man, these things are like gold. And so this will just have to work, I guess, unless maybe I can bend something out of aluminum that'll, uh, that'll look cool on there and just bolt up. But uh, yeah, it'll work. Adam gave me, uh, I, if you didn't know, I got this from Adam's Playground, uh, and he gave me a whole set of reproduction decals for it. Even though these decals aren't in bad shape, I've got a whole brand new set, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them. I'll probably sand the body down, polish it up, whatever, and uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of the plan for this. I may put a set of, uh, uh, like Hornet wheels and tires on it. I, I'm not real sure yet, uh, but that's kind of the plan for this is just bring it back to life and uh, uh, hop it up just a little bit and uh, basically kind of kind of like we're doing with the, the Hornet there. The Hornet does run. I lost one of the uh, uh, spindle pins, uh, upright pins, whatever you want to call them, but I had a uh, Traxxas pin that uh, has threads on the one end and was able to uh, pop that down in there and that worked just fine. So yeah, that's the kind of the plan for that. But uh, um, we've got some other stuff coming that's uh, going to be in the near future and uh, did a short on that 57 Chevy, probably do that at some point this winter. I do still want to do the uh, Thunder Max Dragster and uh, uh, either put a brushless 380 or a hopped up 380 in it and uh, uh, just, you know, see if we can make it work. Uh, I don't know how good it's going to be, but uh, it'll still be cool. Grayson and I uh, finally picked up a radio for Grayson's... Uh, uh, Supra up there that he got from Brent for, at Adventure Time, so we're gonna do something with that soon. And because uh, 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 being a drift car, you know, when it gets icy out on the street and stuff like that, he'll be able to take that out and play with it in the ice and yeah, just have a good time with it. Um, also got the QD Jeep over here that uh, needs work, and uh, so we'll probably end up doing something with that over the winter and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep busy. Uh, this fast lane, which is like the QD Midnight Pumpkin or the Radio Shack trucks, that one's gonna need restored and uh, Grayson really likes that one. So I may let him do that himself and uh, see if he can do it. He likes to solder, he likes to do that kind of stuff and it'll keep him busy and out of trouble. And so uh, yeah, we might do that too and then uh, the rest of them, you know, we're just gonna run them, have fun with them. If we break something, we'll fix it, whatever. But uh, yeah, we're having fun with these and uh, Grayson and I bond through it and uh, you guys enjoy our videos and we truly appreciate that. Thank you to each and every one of you. We've got the giveaway coming up. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.